Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to Pelicans.com. Yet again, we're bringing you another air gun to review today. Just a small little one, it's not going to be in-depth and so on. All we're trying to do is just to show you when you buy these air guns, what comes in the box and how it performs. That's the basics what we need. So have a look at this. We got the air gun technology, we got the Vixen Long. So last time we did the Vixen Short, which is just a normal Vixen. Like I said, these, these guns normally come with a pen with a little vernier to measure your groupings. Comes with your keychain, a magazine, and your full station. Comes with two magazines. And then obviously a little bit of um, barrel O-rings that you can put in there. Once you pick up this gun, what I've noticed is it's very light. It comes in at 2.4 kilograms. Then what they will also give you in the manual, I just want to show you this before I just blab about everything. So it will tell you how to load your magazine. It tells you warnings. It gives you even your Vixen long. There's all your sizes and so on, your barrel length, and then obviously your cylinder size and then the total length and then 2.4 kgs. So it normally shows you even how you can change the cocking lever because this is a true ambidextrous air gun. So you can change it from the left to the right. It's got a nice um, safety on the side. I'll show you that in a bit. And also it will tell you how to do your maintenance. There's not a lot of companies out there that gives you a very informational book like this. And it's even got a QR code at the back here. You can use it on your phone, just scan it with your normal photo and then you go into the website and they can help you out if you've got any other queries. But anyway, picking up this gun, like I said, it's very light, it's very pointable. Um, the other thing is what I've noticed, because today is very cold outside. If you have a look at the bottle, some of the guns don't have anything on the bottles or on their, can I say, their stocks. So when, once you put your cheek against it, it's like very cold. I don't know if you guys can relate to it, but this has got like this smooth, smooth, smooth elastic rubber piece on the outside here. And it's very soft to the skin and it's quite nice and comfortable and it's not too cold. So it's really sitting quite well. If you have a look at the four end stock at the back here, you can see it's got a rubber butt pad and you can move it up and down, not the uh, left and right. Uh, there's your full hole there where you can put in your full probe. Uh, here's your gauge. What's nice about this air gun, you can adjust your speeds up and down as you would wish. Like the same on the Vixen Short, there you just put in your Allen key and where you turn it up, one way it will decrease and the other way it will increase. Like I said, the nice safety right here by your fingers, so you'll be able to use it very easily. And then yeah, if you see red, that means it's fire. If you don't see red, that means it's unsafe. Like I said, Explained, you can change your cocking lever from left to right. It's pretty easy. They show it even in the book. The magazines are pretty reliable. If you have a look at the top here, yeah, it's even got a nice Picatinny rail. So it's very also very reliable when you put on your scopes. If you make sure when you do put on your scope and you put it in the third hole and the third hole from the front and you remove your scope and put it back on, it will still be on the same place as long as you didn't adjust your turrets. And then if you have a look at down furthermore here, yeah, you've got also a Picatinny rail. So you can either put a bipod, but you can also put a bipod or your sling adapters and you can add other accessories on the side of these rails meaning you can put on a light scope um, a scope scope mount there that you can put on a, a chronograph you know uh, there's numerous things accessories that you can put on these things whichever you like so you can you can customize it to your style and then if you have a look at this the barrel starts from here goes all the way there inside yeah this acts as a silencer and it's a massive shroud so this makes this gun also very compact but quiet as well you don't have to it, um, install another silence on this thing because it is very quiet so what we've got extra is this magazine holder if you can have a look at that this is additional extras so it's quite nice you can keep two magazines in there and have one in your gun so these things are magnetic so when you put it in it clips back into place you see there Look at that. It's quite nice. It's two magazines. Remember, this isn't a magazine that feeds straight into your gun. It's just a magazine holder. Remember, holder. It just holds your magazine. Your magazine, you're going to have to then take out, load it, put it into the gun here. 
then shoot. So it is not an additional magazine that will feed into your gun. It's just the holder. Just remember that. Okay. It's an easy way to install this additional extra. Those little two Allen screw heads, just loosen them and you can either put it on that Picatinny or this Picatinny. So depending on how you like the look and then just tighten them down. So it will also be like a nice handle holder for it. So it looks pretty cool. It looks like almost like a assault rifle. If you have a look at that, that looks pretty decent. So yeah, and obviously you can change out these grips to whichever grips you would also like. If you want full um, metal 3D printed ones, whichever one you'd like. But the standard one is quite nice. You can put your um, hand around it. It fits quite nice into my palm. So look at that. It's very pointable. Love it. The cocking levers on the left hand side. It's pretty good for the right handed shooter because it's quite quick. You pick it up. You can do repeatable shots very fast like that. See there? Just make sure when you do load it that you don't push down and once you go forward you knock your safety in. So make sure when you grab it that you grab it small. See that? And this thing is pretty quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the phone, on the camera, but this is pretty good. So what we're going to do today, we're going to put on a Zenon 4 to 16 by 44 first focal plane scope on this gun. We're going to quickly zero it in on 50 meters and uh, we're going to shoot it. We're going to see whichever pellet's going to work with it and we're going to do a five shot grouping and then we'll take it from there. So yeah, at 50 meters, well not at 50 meters, we're going to shoot at 50 meters. Here is the H&N Barracuda 18.13s. We've loaded them up. We're going to do a five shot grouping at 50 meters. So if you hear that regulator, well, the speeds, you can hear the regulator is working at its optimal best with these Barracudas from H&N. Um, the accuracy that I've got downrange now is something awesome with these guns. Uh, quality, reliability, all in one package. It's short, it's quiet. You can do a lot with these air guns and trust me come down to pelleguns.com look at these air guns and you'll be sold okay they come in at a little bit of a hefty price but what you pay for in the air gun industry is what you get so let's go and have a look there at 50 meters how the grouping looks we got 50 meters here have a look at the vixen lungs accuracy test here there was five shots right in top of each other there there was my aim point that is really really a good grouping at 50 meters if you have a look in the left hand side that was the vixen short look at that grouping is also pretty good remember the wind was blowing this day yeah with this one this today it wasn't blowing that much and look at that accuracy we're getting one thing i just want to mention to you guys <clears throat> i do take these guns straight out of the box i do not fiddle with them or do anything with them only thing i do is put pellets in the magazine fill it up with air and then obviously set in the scope more or less to this distance to get a grouping and you can adjust it and set it as you want if you want to but straight out of the box i think they're pretty good and um, these um, air gun technology with this vixen these guys they really know what they are doing with air guns quality and reliability all in one package if you can have a look at that thing the groupings it, it speaks for itself but anyway, like I said, these 18, gra uh, 18 grain 0.13 H&Ns, they really good, did a good job. So if you can't find the JSBs, these are the next best thing. They really work. I mean, they're proving themselves. Look at that. And yeah, 
If you guys like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Come down to pelleguns.com, pick up these guns, feel how it feels and get yourself an awesome air gun. See you guys next time.